If I make this, I'm a better shooter than Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, damn, Hillary got me. All right, so with this whole Andrew Tate thing, so I was listening to the Twitter spaces today, um, the one that Mario in the fall does. I think whoever is like following the story, you guys should follow the Twitter spaces. Like whenever he does it, there's like a lot of stuff that comes out, you know, like I don't know if it's true or not, but it's some Andrew Tate fans, some Andrew Tate friends, some Andrew Tate haters, some Andrew Tate alleged victims. So this girl right here, Carla, Carla Howell, that's her. She's the one that got, that was, that went up to Andrew Tate in the Mayweather fight and got rejected and it was a big thing. So she comes up and tells her, just basically tells her side. You guys listen, let me know what you think. Related to Vice, but just giving yeah. Nick time to prepare. Um, tell us your story. What happened? Um, what can you share? That's the about girl. What happened? Uh, and again, really appreciate Hi, um, well, obviously it has been very difficult for me because a lot of people are not reading the context of the media articles. A lot of people like are assuming that I am the reason that he is in jail, which is completely, everyone knows it. Somebody who has accused him of rape, it's not me. And I am not, can I make clear, one of the six trafficking victims in Romania. And I think people just want to read what they want to read because I'm the closest thing to being associated with him who has actually spoken openly to the media, whereas everyone wants to know who the other girls are. So I obviously have been receiving a lot of abuse online, but people are not reading the context that obviously I could have been one of the girls. I could have actually been one of the victims because he was trying to get me to come to Romania. And the only reason that I did choose to speak out is because if, if I thought from the way he had spoken to me, oh, there's no way in hell because he spoke to me in a very nice way. He did start talking to me in a very charming, like polite manner, but then the messages changed before we'd met up. So that's when I was like, hold on a minute. The things that I've read in the media are identical to the way that he wrote to me. So I can't sit back knowing that I'm a public figure and not say that I have similar messages to what other people are saying the way that he wrote to them also. So question about the messages that you have, Carla. Have you shared those messages publicly? I didn't have time um, to prepare and go through everything in preparation yeah. for this. Something um, came up. I actually did. There was a while ago when I did put something on my TikTok and I've had thousands of people like, oh, you're lying. You haven't posted the screenshots, but I don't need to post the screenshots because everyone that I know personally have seen them, even my PR management. Like I wouldn't even legally be able to talk about a false claim like of course the messages are real i would be sued if they weren't um if i need to i will obviously post them on social media because i can back up exactly everything that has been um said to me but i just know from the experience the way that he spoke to me was very very similar to the messages that his alleged accusers are saying that he was writing to them also so remember this this girl talking is not one of the alleged victims okay she just she made it clear but she had experience with andrew tate and like i said she was the one at the mayweather fight that andrew tate i guess rejects are you able carla just to just to go through them and, and nick will we'll go to you to start going through the vice documentary but if you can pin it above do you know how to pin a tweet in the in the top uh, i can do it if you could just dm it to me carla or pin it above just so do you have so you have the the the, the transcript or the screenshots tweeted in a thread uh, you said you tweeted it a while ago is that correct i'm sorry can you repeat that so the the screenshots of the discussion or the transcript is that available anywhere that the audience and, uh, and we could go through it um i don't understand what you mean so you said that tate andrew tate uh, had a similar discussion to you as the the discussions he had on uh with yeah. other girls on uh, on yeah so do you have any and you said there were whatsapp messages as well or was it just more per face, -to -face? um no it was on instagram okay and do you have have you posted you said you've posted those a few months ago publicly? um i did take them down because people started writing so much abuse i want to see those messages man i want to see as much as possible so i was like it it just wasn't worth the negative energy that i was receiving off the back of it but i just at the time, I only put them up to prove a point because for people to be writing to me, oh, you're lying because they're so obsessed with a guy they've never met in their life, but they fail to understand that you have to take these accusations seriously. Like, and I did have aggressive messages that were sent to me that back up exactly what the accusers have said.
Okay, and, and can you give us a bit of an idea of what the messages said exactly and, and what treatment uh, uh, you received? And, and maybe Slyman could respond to that yeah. if he has anything to say. Um, and, and also, just for the audience, I know I just was looking at your profile, Carla. First, I'm, I'm humbled that you're following me. I'm guessing you followed me just to go into the space. But we don't know each other. We've never spoken before. No. And this is the first time you come onto the space. Just for clarity for the audience. And okay. Carla, so what did those messages say before we get into the vice? Uh, Sorry, discussion? one second. I'll just... That's right. You can, what I recommend to anyone, anyone that called, calls you during a space for the panel, just block them. Uh, yeah. The and, and then so remember to unblock them after the space. Basic Go ahead. It's fine now. Oh. One second. This was the Mayweather fight, <laughs> obviously. You're ready, by the way, Nick, so we can kick it off with the Vice documentary after Carla. Oh, perfect. Carla, are you with us? Yeah, sorry, one second. I'm just fine. Go. Yeah, all good. All good. By the way, I see Richard's up on stage. So, Richard, good to have you, man. Um, feel free to, to jump in at any time, but we'll just put your hand up and we've got a nice structure in place. Just like all right, so we're side. waiting on her to say what the message is said that, that and we're kick supposedly the, the Andrew Tate sent her. Documentary right after the discussion with Carlo. Yeah, so, uh, like, the I Go think ahead, things kind of went wrong when I said that I was going away with another girl on holiday. And then um, he was basically saying, you better not cheat on me. Do not talk to other men and don't go party in Marbella. Stay in the hotel and wait for me. And I was kind of like, at first I did take it as a joke until the messages continue being that aggressive way. And then he was basically saying like, you need to obey your man, me. And saying that he was nice and loyal, which how can you be loyal if you're able to do what you want with other girls but yeah i'm not and i think from that point is where it switched when he knew i was going on holiday with another girl and uh, did it ever escalate beyond that so that kind of paints his character with slay man you kind of made an argument that this is you know a lot of cultures um have that you know those those boundaries in place so that that relationship but you've got to bear in mind that we had never met and then he was saying like i don't trust you they're bullshit you're going to do drugs and drink you're going to party and all these things and i was like what the hell and then after... but were you were you working were you just working with him or you were together what do you mean what do you so mean? were you in a relationship or just no this was them? before we'd actually ever met that he was giving this type of aggression before we'd ever met this was on instagram because he dm'd me out of the blue and then he was like were you good on holiday did you behave and how do i know you were good and then he was saying answer it's a normal question like in capitals like aggressively asking me had i behaved on holiday and accusing me of doing drugs and drinking bearing in mind this is when we'd never met before we'd even met and then he was calling himself my man and all these things before we'd met and how did it evolve after you met did did was what's your personal experience of him as a person was he was he nice to you was he a gentleman or did you sense this kind of two sides to his character when you actually met him in person i think i'd say there's two sides i think there's like a side on the internet and then there's another side but i do think from when we met in person i did see a bit of an aggressive side and also I literally have the messages which are identical to the ones that girls were saying he wrote to them claiming that he's your man and then saying to me I'll come to Romania and all of these things and he was asking me to come to Romania and apparently the girls who were alert that it was he said he was their boyfriend and he said that I was his boyfriend so you can't literally counteract the fact that I have identical messages to what these girls were saying he wrote to them also so, Carla, so well, after you I've met got a question after... sorry sorry, oh, sorry yeah carry on carry on so, Carla, if you can just give us a timeline of events. So, you initially text him when? And... No, I never oh, ever text him. Oh, he oh, he texted you. Sorry. He, he DM'd me on Instagram last February. Right. It was him that contacted me, and he yeah. said, "Are you in London?" And then he like he basically i'd never heard of him i didn't know who he was but everyone was like oh my god that guy follows you on instagram have you seen what he says about women and i unfollowed him when everyone said that because i was like shit if he has this so when i when i saw he followed me i followed back and i was like people were dming me saying he's disgusting unfollow which i did and then he continued to dm me but i was like he seems pretty nice from his beginning messages so i wasn't listening to other people's views on him at the beginning so how did the meeting so, come about? Yeah. Um, how how well, did it progress? Because you said that you never met for a while. So you basically, last February, he texted you for the first first time, 2021. Yeah. And I'm guessing you both text over what period of time? Over the period till August when his Instagram account was removed. And, and when did the Spain thing happen where, where he, he basically told you not to go? 
Oh, that was in June. That so was. I'm trying to work out like what, when did you physically meet him? Um, um, and I what happened? In and, and why did you? I met him in okay, November and... in Dubai. But yeah, what happened in there? Because so, um, so we've a got lot the timeline. So, so, sorry, Carla. Let, let me just. Uh, so I just just so the speed so just so the viewers know the timeline. So last February 2021, you were texting each other. You continued texting each other till um, August when his account was removed. That's right. But b before that, in June, he told you not to go to Spain, and then yeah. you continued texting until August, um, and then his account got blocked, so you stopped texting. And then in November, you met him in Dubai. It's, it's yeah. a video that's gone viral. If you could tell and us about I that. And I just want to clarify, because obviously the Andrew Tate army, people have been writing so much lies about that video. But I just want to clarify. Oh, so she's going to talk about the Mayweather fight. The one that he, that we just saw that he rejects her, I guess. Clarify that not once in that video was I told to go home or go away. People are that delusional. That was my own video that a videographer at the Dubai Mayweather fight filmed and randomly said to me later, oh, I filmed you and um, Tate um, talking. And then afterwards I wrote to him, I was, he said to me, I'll put that on TikTok randomly. And afterwards I was like, what the hell? People are making up things over the wording. Like he said, go home. He said this. Why would I continue talking to a guy if he said go home? Like they're literally talking a load of shit. Never once did he say that to me. Like it's people to make up this bizarre lie is just beyond me. But his own guy that I saw posted a video about me also, Tamar Khan, whatever his name is. He even said, oh, she got shy and walked away. It's like, yeah, he even didn't say in his own little speech against me that he told me to go home because he knows that he never did either. They're so delusional that people are making up their own narrative, which they haven't seen the messages. I will. They, so, it's just embarrassing that people are writing this bullshit. I guess the people. Was guess this the, the only time you met him? Carla? Yeah, was it was. It was. Yeah. So, so Carla, I guess what the I think people have two questions, and this is just from Tay people, so you get an opportunity to respond to this. The first thing is that obviously Tam Khan was sat next to you, and he said that you approached. So that's this is the first question. I let you answer on both. That you approached them, and the second point of of, of Andrew Tay. And I guess the second question people have is um, that in the video, uh, Andrew Tate is like pointing to his eyes and then pointing to oh, the Oh yeah, to I want to clear up that yeah. bit because everyone keeps saying that he's like, oh, I'm watching the boxing. No, he didn't. I was explaining to him that I was about to get into the ring with Mayweather and he said, I'll keep my eye on you. And everyone's putting this false things. He's saying, I'm watching the boxing, fuck off, basically. No, he did not say that. Like, it's so delusional that people are making up these lies. And how the fuck can you tell me what a guy said to me when I am standing there talking to him? Like, it's delusional. And the videographer that was even there was like, oh, ignore everyone, just don't listen to them. But I'm like, I can't have people writing lies. Like, I'm in that bloody conversation. I think I know what he said to me. And and so did you, did you, well, the second question was, did you approach him? Yeah, I did approach him. It's clear to see I approached him in that video, yeah. I think Raphael might have something to say. Joe, Raphael, do you want to add something? Well, yeah, I think the other question that's going through a lot of people's minds that, you know, you've had messages from is, if he was so aggressive with you in the messages back in August, you already had a very bad feeling about him through the messages, which you said was extremely controlling. Nothing, we're still, I think, oceans apart from the allegations that he's been charged with, but you know, very aggressive male bravado type messages. And all these people have already told you, oh, he's a bad guy. And you yourself were personally put off. Why would you go and approach this person in such a public uh, event? Um, well, I think just because it was such a public event and I was literally getting in the ring with Mayweather, if you've got that many people around and security and stuff and you'd been back and forth messaging with a guy like you feel safe and secure within that environment that you can talk to someone. It wasn't private. It was literally thousands around. Like, there was security everywhere. This was next to the ring. So I was in a secure enough environment to go up to him like it wasn't in that moment anything to second question that moment like I wasn't going back to a hotel or nothing with him and he actually was like oh let's catch up after because I was about to go in the ring and then a fight broke out with him and Logan Paul but um yeah Big people ball. don't understand when they're saying that it doesn't mean anything for me to go up to someone in a public space where they're secure I even had my own security walking to and from the changing room like of course I felt safe within that moment if it was me going back to a hotel or something with him that would have been a whole different story all right that's it she just goes on it but here's it okay so quick summary so this this girl right here carla howe i believe that's how, that's her name was 
allegedly messaged from Andrew Tate on Instagram, and I don't know, like he he started speaking to her at first, and then he started getting aggressive. This is all according to her. I don't know if it's true or not. She's saying she has the messages. So I apparently he starts getting aggressive, aggressive with her, ag aggressive with her, saying, "Oh, you're my girl. You can't go out if you don't drink. Blah 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 blah. You can't go out. You can't do this, this, that." And then she meets him and then whatever he gets banned and then she's the ring girl at mayweather's last fight the one he was fighting i think deji or something and she was the ring girl and i guess she saw him and she went up to him and this is the video this is when everyone thought andrew tate was saying oh get, get away i'm watching it but according to her he was just saying i'm gonna be watching you but i mean even i know she just said oh i was with security this that i was safe but even if someone is like talking to you, I'm not saying she's right or she's wrong. This isn't about if anyone's guilty or innocent, right? Like if I was her, right? And Andrew Tate was getting aggressive with me in text and I'm like, whoa, what is this? I, even if it's in public, I wouldn't go up to him. And like, they look like they're just having like a, I don't know, like a conversation. Like, I don't know that, I don't know. You guys be the judge. Like you guys just heard what she said. I'm not saying she's right or she's wrong. I'm not saying Andrew Tate is right or wrong. This isn't about that, okay? You guys saw what she said, and I don't know. You guys put two and two together. And let me know what you think about this in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it.